Good morning, everybody. Bradley asked me to do a quick fly for you guys. A lot of people were asking about how we tie our jig fly. Um, so we're gonna start with uh, Trocar Weedless Finesse. These are the, the Nico style. Um, they got a really nice little weed guard in them. Um, makes tying this a lot easier. So we just uh, took the weed guard and folded it up through the eye here. And we're gonna dress our shank. So we're gonna come about halfway back, not too far back. And then we're gonna come forward here and we're gonna tie in our eye. So we're just gonna use a large uh, hairline double pupil. Um, and we're gonna put that right behind the little bump for the weed guard there. Three wraps that side, three wraps this side. A couple more there and then we'll get that oh, knock the light here Move the light up a little bit okay so now we got that on there we'll drop a couple of drops of super glue right at the base just to make sure that doesn't ever have a problem and then we're just gonna wrap Sorry, I'm not used to tying with the camera face in this direction. So if I lose you guys, let me know. Well, okay, so our eyes locked in there pretty good. So now we're just gonna come back here to the back of our thread. And we're gonna put in some crystal flash for the, the craw tails. So I go a little heavy on this. Just take a bag pile of that and we're going to want to tie it on in on each side so we're going to go on this side with this one make sure they're equal and then we'll come up underneath and we'll just pin that one on that side and i'm trying to keep them separated enough to give me that little bit of a kicker tail it's not necessary but i just take them hold them apart like that and put just Drop a super glue on there, and that'll just keep them separate enough. So now we'll just come forward here, and we're gonna take a little bit of olive marabou, just just any quill you feel comfortable with, and we're gonna make that go around and spread that out a little bit, kind of get some coverage on it. And I'll take this and just chop out all this excess. You'll never see all this underneath the skirt. It'll all be locked in there. So I don't worry about prettiness. It's about getting it in there, keeping your legs from doing too much damage here. So you see now you got your, your legs out the back. You got a little bit of marabou in there. And the marabou is to help the skirt stay bulked up in the water. So now we're just gonna take a little bit of uh, peacock ice dub. Uh, I like the peacock uh, with the olive. It kind of nice matches it. Oxide works really well as well for a color with olive. We're just going to put a little bit behind here. Not too thick. Just try not to waste too much. Okay. Now we're just going to take our skirt. So skirt material is up to you. We use silicone skirt tabs, just flat skirt. Um, we buy it online from uh, Skirts Unlimited, I believe it's called. Um, Bubba deals with all the business stuff. I'm not a business guy. I don't do that stuff. I'm just a dumb tire. But so we're just going to find the midpoint. We're going to tie it in right behind the eyes. Straighten that out. And now we're going to spread this out. And the weed guard gets in the way. Everything gets in the way. Check the belly. Make sure we got good coverage all the way around. Once we do, we'll do a few more wraps. These are not tight wraps. They're just kind of snug. And then now I'm going to go and pull down and snug all that down. Snugging it down. Okay. Take a little bit of super glue on our thread. We'll just put a couple of drops right down here. Come on, stick. 
Okay, let's get that wrapped in there. So now we're just gonna take this and the easiest way to fold all this back is to cut the tips off. And just get it all folded back here behind the thread. And we're just gonna put a few wraps right here just to kind of keep everything back, okay? So we're just gonna put a couple of wraps right there and then we'll come in the front, same thing, couple of wraps, and then we're gonna whip finish. So with these big weed guards, a hand whip finish is probably the easiest way to do it. It's a lot faster. Oh, I bumped the camera, guys. Sorry about that. So there's that. Okay, so I'm gonna fix the camera back. There you go. So now you have your skirt. Let's trim the back tab out. So let's just trim that. If you get a little bit of your silicone or whatever, maybe in there. So now you have your skirt. So now I use just a little clothespin here, just your everyday clothespin, and we just tie that up. So now it's time to deal with the head. One of the issues we had when, when originally developing and tying this fly a lot was weeds got caught right here and here. So we've we've decided to use on the ones with the barbell heads, loon on our own. Um, so we're just gonna pull the weed guard out. Don't worry, it'll straighten out eventually. And we're just gonna put the weed guard where we want it. And we're gonna take the loon clear head cement and we're just gonna build ourselves a little ramp kind of in this area, um, basically building a head. So we're just gonna start right in here. Now, if you want to, you can just head cement this and feed fish this as is. The problem we ran into is it was not very weedless. Um, the head really, really, really wanted to grab the weeds. Um, not so much that it was unfishable, but it was a definite issue for me. So we're just building this side up a little bit, trying to give the weed somewhere to go and not get caught. Okay, so got that side built up. Let's build this side up now. Same thing, I'm gonna start way up in here and just do a little bit at a time. Not too much. You can uh, use the sag to your advantage to get it to go in there. Cure it, add a little bit more. but you're just basically building a little ramp for the weeds to go around that eye. And that's all that's really needed. Um, these two little weed guards on these, on these trocars are amazing. So we'll just uh, build up this side just a little bit more. And then we'll start building the inside middle here. You could do this with epoxy. It's just gonna get a lot harder to get it this thick to give you the, the ramp up. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a nice good cure there. So now I wanna look at the bottom. So I wanna make sure when I do the bottom that my, my weed guards are in the right place because I am gonna go around them a little bit. And I am just gonna fill in this inner center section here between the eyes with the UV just for looks really. It's not needed. Um, fish aren't going to care, but for me and for you guys, I'll, I'll finish it up right. So let's do that. Cure that a little bit. And we'll get back up to the top and we'll look at the back of the eye here. Same thing. We're just going to flow in just a little bit enough to make it look finished and clean. I don't think it needs to have too much. Okay, so you see now you have a nice place for the weeds to come off of the eye. And that, that's the only problem with using a dumbbell and that's why I still prefer the jig head. But with, you know, the talk of changes in the bass and fly rules this year, we had to develop an alternative. Well, the alternative is to make a head out of an acceptable material, so little bit of uneven right there. So now we're just gonna cure this really well. 
So one of the problems I've had with Loon in the past, and I know a lot of people have a problem with, and, and a lot of UV epoxies have the same thing, is the tacky nature to the surface. The easiest solution for that is to get your uh, favorite bottle of Sally Hansen's here. And as soon as this is cured, I'll show you guys. I just got a bottle, just clear head cement or clear fingernail polish. I prefer top coat. They seem like they're a little harder. Um, some people like the harder the nail. I think they're all top coats. And I'm just going to paint that surface that I just UV'd with that. And that'll take the tackiness away from it. And it'll add an extra little shiny layer in there make it prettier and you know it's a hairline eye so hitting the outside of the eye is just going to help protect that paint especially banging it off of rocks and lumber okay so there we go so now just take this off and you have it that is a dbb jig fly so it'll ride hook up on the bottom and this fly is all about dragging the bottom it's a craw so i hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys hope you guys figured this out it's a it's a really simple fly there's no rocket science to this stuff it's fly fishing so i hope you guys uh have a good day trim the tails equal thank you bye